welcome back to Care DIY. What? Today we have a fun little tutorial that we're going to do. And it is a drunk tic-tac-toe board using Dollar Tree items, which is always a plus. And I'm going to show you guys from beginning to end how I did this um, drunk tic-tac-toe board using Dollar Tree shot glasses, a Dollar Tree cutting board, and my Cricut. Now, I'm going to tell you how I did everything from beginning, very first step, to the very last step. So this is going to be a little bit longer, but it's very detailed and you'll be able to do this with no problem and you'll be able to sell this or use this for personal reasons and you're going to love it because I love it. So if you are new here, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below and make sure that you click the bell so that you're notified each time I upload a video. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining back in. And let's get into this tutorial. Let's DIY, guys. Okay, so we are going to start the cutting for the drunk tic-tac-toe board. So we have a clean design space here. So we're going to start with just uploading the prints that we will have to cut out. So first we'll start with the actual frame of the board and insert that. I got that from charmedbyashley.com. I will link it down below for you guys to have easy access to. So the tic-tac-toe board is about seven and a half by seven and a half. So we'll go ahead and make that the size that it needs to be. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's done and that'll be a separate cut. So now we just wanna start putting in the sayings for the board. So I'll go ahead and put those out. And the words will be around 1.5 on each side because the actual spaces for the words are a little small. So make sure that you do not make the words too big because essentially you'll be wasting vinyl. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nine spaces all together. So you'll want to have nine little phrases. You can decide which phrases you want to put in them, or you can use the phrases here. You can switch them around. If you're using this for personal use, then you can, you know, do little fun things that correlate with what you and your friends or family members will be doing. Or if you're going to sell this, then you can just use the generic phrases that fit everybody. I kept the font the same as just the regular Cricut font, just because I think that it will print easier with the blocky letters, but feel free to change the font and use whatever font you want. Oops. Now 
Now for this part, I realized that I want to have the words on top of each other and not long ways, just so that it fits in a block better. I don't know why this keeps being in the way. And we still want to go ahead and make it the same size as everything else. And I'm also going to do this one. I'm going to go back and do this one too and make the words on top of each other instead of long ways. Okay. Okay, and now we are at the last one, and we'll say you choose. Do the nice alignment, resize. Move it over. And there we have all of the phrases. So it should be nine phrases for the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead and group these together. and attach don't forget to attach that's very important then we can that's fine now we have to do the x's and the o's so x and the x can be two by two so we'll resize that and you'll need five of them, so just control copy and then control paste and do that. And then you will need those. So two by two. And copy and paste that all right Okay, so we are going to do the X's and O's in different colors, so we're going to group them separately. And attach. 
group and attach. Okay, so we have all of the things that we're gonna cut out. So the, um, the frame of the board, which is this part right here, and the words will be the same color so they can be printed out together. And then the X's will be a different color and then the O's will be a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that things look good as far as spacing. We're not gonna cut them together, but I just wanna make sure they look good on the actual um, cutting board, which they do. They're all attached. They're, all the words are in the right order. Everything is grouped correctly. So we'll go back. And we are going to hide the things that we do not want to print right now. So I think it's important to print this part out first. I don't know. I'm just going to call it a hashtag. The hashtag, print the hashtag first. So we will go ahead and hide the X's. And hide the O's. and <clears throat> hide all the words and cut this first. And it should weed pretty easily. Like such. And there you have the hashtag. Now we're gonna take some transfer tape from the Dollar Tree, of course. I like it to be nice and flat so I go over it a little bit and then I also take the smoother tool and go over it with it I like to go over the back of it. Some vinyl is harder than others to stick on the transfer tape. So and just to get that little security that, to make sure that it's gonna come off with the transfer tape, I like to go over the back of it. Now we are ready to place it on the cutting board. and even. Use the smoothing tool again to
and there we have it. Okay. Now while we have the board together, we're just gonna go ahead and check the measurement. So, middle part, it's about two-ish. Two and some inches. So I think we'll be safe with the 1.5 that we have. And I think it'll look good. Okay, so now we're ready to do the actual words that will be on the board. So we have this all together. It's all grouped together and ready and attached. So just click on make it. As you can see, I decided to do the inside of the board um, red instead of black to give it a little a little more pizzazz. So the cricket, the mat is together on the cricket. Waiting for it to load. You want to click vinyl. And because it's words, I don't like to do the fast mode. So you're just going to do it regular. And I already loaded the mat, so I skipped that step. So everything is preparing. Now, after these cut, I'm going to speed things up a little bit and show you how I do all the attaching. So I'm not going to show any more of the cutting because I figure you guys have it at this point. Only the X's and O's are left. So I'm going to skip ahead and go to me attaching everything. And we have a little bit of ways to go. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I have the words little phrases cut out and I've already attached the transfer tape and I've placed them on the cutting board how I want them to actually be placed. So now all we have to do is go ahead and start taking the transfer tape off and placing the words on the board. I still like to smooth it out before I remove the transfer tape. Okay. Okay, so I have some shot glasses from the Dollar Tree. They call them dessert glasses. They come three in a pack. We need 10, so you'll need to buy four packs of these. And once we have them, I went ahead and printed out the vinyl for the shot glasses. So all we have to do is just place it on. And I'm going to do two, one X and one O, so that you can see. Place it there in the middle. Smooth it out. And voila, I did the O's in white, and then I did the X's in gold.
And there we go. We have an X and we have an O. Okay, so we are finished the entire board. Now they there are five shot glasses of the X's and five shot glasses of the O's. You don't know who's going to win, so that's why you need five of each and not just nine. And I'll take th these off so that you can see some of the sayings. You know, and it makes for nice decor or a gift to someone for the winter holidays, a ski trip, game night, whatever. And there you have it. So what do you think? Did you enjoy this tutorial? I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little long, but I wanted to make sure that you got every single step you needed to do this project. So I wanted to give it a little bit more time than usual. So don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below. Comment down below and let me know what you think about the Drunk Tic Tac Toe board. Let me know what other games that we can put our own little spin on in a tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you missed my last tutorial, go ahead and click this video right here so you can catch up. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye guys.